catch her on camera. In case you catch anything. <laughs> Hopefully. We're at the bait patch trying to catch bait to start the day. Okay. Mike's getting the net ready. I haven't thrown it in a long time. Yeah, pumping some pumping it full. There's the tan man over there. We got one, I see him. Yeah, we got a couple. We got a couple guys. We got some worms. Not my best throw, but the bananas work the best. We got bait. Let's go fishing. It's raining. We didn't know it was gonna rain all day. But it's raining all morning so far. A couple of tunas on though. We got one, we didn't get skunked. Woo! First thing I ever had. Hello, my old friend. <laughs> So we think this is a big tuna there. We got a smaller one, but uh, there's some bigger ones around. This weather's not very nice, but it is what it is. Offshore mini is hooked up. Definitely have big black fit on back there. Keep pointing on here, don't stop pointing. Drag them home! Oh, okay. Minnows are going out. Question is, who's gonna win? The mini rod or the normal rod? <laughs> you can walk through the back of the boat there. You can have that motor there. Kind of try to pull it right away from it. Trying to go around the boat. Stay. Oh, there you go. Boom, 
On the mini ride. Woo -hoo! Yeah. That, that was a workout. <laughs> Things are looking up. A couple big tunas, a medium, one smaller one, 937. Hoping that weather offshore kind of dissipates, so we'll see. But we're getting them now. Keep his head in the water. Oh, nice. Good job. Nice tuna. Take that all day. Good job. He's pulling hard. Yeah, you can see him thumping there. He's kicking that tail. There you go, perfect. A couple snarls like that. There you go. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. Yeah. Doing the tuna pinwheel, our tunas will get on their side and just kick these circles and beat their tail the entire time. Right. They don't want to go to the fish box, they don't blame them. <laughs> but hopefully, that's where he's going. That's our 20 pound offshore spinner rod, you guys. You can use that to catch pretty much anything out here. Dolphin, tuna, wahoo, sailfish, cobia, grouper, snapper. Good rod to have on a boat, 20 pound class. Big news, big tuna on the mini rod right now, Mike. We got another tuna here, good job. Yes, sir. Right, let me grab his tail. We got him. It is hard to reach the water on the 42, but we got him. <laughs> Another one! You're on fire today. Both you guys on a roll. Oh, and the mini again. Yep. <laughs> Big fish, small rod. <laughs> He's fighting. He's got the mediums, he needs a big one. Those are a big blackfin for him here. 
Fingers crossed, be number 10, be our limit. Junpeo. swordfish trap. It's windy, rainy, and cold. We're all wet. We're heading back in. But I will say the 42 ride's nice. We got a little upgrade here recently. We got suspension uh, pedestals. We got shocks from All Salt Marine. So when you're bouncing around, they bounce up and down. I'll show you a little bit of it here. You can set those things at different uh, amount of air pressure you want and then it moves up and down. So if you're a big guy, you know, make it a little bit stronger. If you're a little guy, make it a little bit softer. You know, just floats up and down the boat or rides great, but uh, even more added comfort. So check those out. I'll put a link in the bio below in the description. We'll see you back in the dock. So it's time to fillet up the fish. Trying out some knives here again. Got the serrated one right there. A prototype right here. I don't know how we're gonna cook this, but these guys are taking on a lot of tuna and we're gonna eat a piece too. Cutting through it like butter with that new knife. And it's stone crab season. We don't have our traps so yet, we're slacking, but we're gonna save this for stone crab bait. See you back at home. Welcome back to the kitchen. We've got some tuna here, a nice loin. Sarah's making some uh, pokey, I guess, with the other loin here. But check this out. We wrapped it in paper towels to kind of absorb the moisture and had it in the fridge. So we're gonna get that up there. We're just gonna do something simple tonight. But we're using a new sauce I have here. We're just gonna wipe this off to wipe off any scales. You want to try to keep as much, you know, you want to keep as little fresh water on tuna as possible. So it hasn't even touched fresh water yet. But it's no shave November. The mustache is coming back. Sarah just got LASIK surgery, got the eye surgery. 
So no glasses. Has, no glasses. We'll see. I still can't see that good though. Maybe another day or two. 28 years she wore glasses when she was a little kid. Years. I had LASIK about 10 or 11 years ago. I've never been able to see like fish or lobster underwater, like in focus. Crazy. So fish and lobster, watch out. Watch out. Now it's really game on. <laughs> but anyhow, let, let me show you what we're doing here with this tuna. We're going to grill it. We got a new sauce my buddy sent me to try. Called the W sauce. Baron Burton's and uh, you know, it's America's Worcestershire. We're just gonna marinate it in that. We're gonna give it about 15, 20 minutes and then it's going on the grill. And we're gonna oh, cook it on a little bit on each side. We're gonna rub this in. It's a little bit heavier than a typical uh, thing here. So we'll see. Got this there. We got that there. We got our neighbors over. Rob's in town. Linda's here. So let's let this uh, soak the goodness in. We'll see you back on the grill in a few minutes. Okay. Poke bowl coming up. Avocado, tuna. What else? Um, sesame seeds and this secret ingredient. Oh, so two cats. And some lemon juice. And lemon juice. Yes, oh, it's time for the tuna. Oh yeah, listen to it sizzle. Tell you what, we're gonna probe the steaks too, that way I don't overcook them. Cause I'm out here telling fish stories. Some true, some not. Most not. But uh, we'll see what happens. Everyone can smell the food they're waiting on. I think those steaks are probably good here, guys. Get these ones off here. Strips there with the W sauce. No, what do they got on? They got uh, Allegro on it, probably. What? We are at 121 on there. We're just gonna cook that tuna a little bit on each side and flip it, and uh, we'll keep you updated through the process. Since oh, they, yeah. since they invented cool. fire, our lifespan has gone up dramatically. It's time to feast. We got steak, we got salad, we got tuna, we got pokey, tuna pokey. We got potatoes out of the microwave. We got a baby over there. Sadie, say hi. You don't want to say hi? No. Okay. We got bread. We have lots of potatoes. I'll be honest, the tuna is a little more well done than expected. But Andrew's excited because he doesn't eat raw fish and he says fires, that's how we've cooked food for a long time, that's how we're going to continue to cook it, so. There we go. You get to be the taste tester. Mm. Oh. Oh, gosh. It has a little bit of pink to it, so it's not like this. Andrew, be honest. Mm. Be honest. Come on, be honest. It's the W sauce. First time I ever put on tuna. Don't be afraid. It's very good. And cooked perfectly. <laughs> 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 it's good. It tastes like a pork loin or something, right? <laughs> Here, clearly. Really Did you eat it? You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah, you try the tuna. Let's see what the baby thinks. That's a Cheerio. Hey, Sadie, will you try a bite of this fish? Mom, this is a Naya. Yeah, hey, that's my Cheerio. No, we're gonna eat while we're here. You don't like it? No. Oh. Sadie does not like tuna. We have come to that conclusion. Sadie, you don't like tuna? No. No. The avocado is good. With the, this is good. Poke. Yes. Yeah, see, if we have seaweed salad and, yeah, yeah. and jasmine rice, yeah. and I have fresh roasted. So there is a touch of pink left in it, but it's definitely medium well. Yeah. yeah. My mom gets it at the Asian market. That'd be good. Right. You definitely should have cooked the tuna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Actually, I only cook Italian. Ah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know that, but it's true. Yep, the Asian right. cooks Italian. So it's like medium well. There has a little bit of pink to it. Also, the flavor is good. Yeah, that, that sauce is good. It is good. Thumbs up for the W sauce. If you haven't tried it, put it on the list to try. It makes up for it being a little more well done than expected. Yeah, you can put it on. Me too. It just gives it more like a meat flavor. You want a treat? Where's your treats at? It was Halloween last week. Sadie, is this on a treat every night? Where are they? Up there?
Which one do you want? I don't know. Oh, that one. Ooh, you want that one? Okay. Gotta rot your teeth out. Make sure you brush your teeth. So we're getting back here. We got good steak. They got pokey. You know what I said? We should just the tuna is good. It's just, I wish I would have cooked this a little bit less. That too. You want that? I can't, yeah. I can't find them down here. Yeah, I should have had you bring me some. How's the pokey? Anyone eat it yet? Yeah. Is it good? Open yes. it. Open it. Is it better than the cooked tuna? Yes. I don't know yet. I think so. I think, I think when you cook tuna, it's ruined. I think tuna deserves to be raw. It should be just seared on the outside. Open it. Or it can be, or or can be, be raw. That's not true. It's almost rare. Yeah. I can only say that after fire was invented, our lifespans went up dramatically, so there you go. the data seems to disagree. I just like sushi. It does taste pretty good. Mm -hmm. oh, it's really good. And I'm not lying. I'm the not... cooked one? Yes. Mm -hmm. It actually does taste good. It's very good. Very good. And it's still tender. It's not yeah. dry. Very it's very tender and still pink. I think it's... I'm also sleeping here tonight. So... <laughs> <laughs> no. Good call. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. Mm -hmm. You want me to open it? Yeah. All right, we're getting back to eating dinner, guys. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you want any merch. Check out the website, stansfishing.com. I better open this up. Sadie is losing it. Tell him to smash the like button. Wave <laughs> goodbye. No, wave to the camera. <laughs> Not us. <laughs> All right, we're going to enjoy this dinner, you guys. We'll see you back down here soon. No, open that. Okay, okay.